Shane Edgecombe's health situation is unique to him. One of my kidneys, my uh, left kidney has died. And so I'm just got one kidney, my right kidney that I'm working with now. But when it comes to getting a COVID-19 vaccine, Shane pretty much sums up what many are trying to figure out. I'm not trying to skip the line and, and get ahead of where I should be. I'm just trying to find my place in line. We're reaching out to surrounding counties and providers. We're, we're getting inundated with questions. I'm sure y'all are too when it comes to vaccines. Stanislaw County Public Health is pretty much like every other county. They're still ramping up. Majority of our vaccines have been provided through the, um, the hospitals and clinics in Stanislaus County. So once we have a solid number of providers and just local providers signed up, we are going to start rolling it out. When you look at the tiers and the subset of the tiers, there's a lot of categories. Dr. Brian Evans is with Sierra Nevada Memorial Hospital. I've gotten a lot of questions about, uh, you know, specific patients who are a certain age or have certain medical issues, and uh, they, they really do want to know when are they in line, when can they expect to get the vaccine. They, they really want a date. And the challenge of this, I think, has been that the logistics of vaccine delivery in the United States has been really challenging. For example, in Nevada County, the vaccines are trickling in. For a sense of perspective, the allocation of vaccine that was made available to Nevada County this week um, was 100 doses. So def definitely want to temper in the expectation that everybody that's 65 and older will be able to get that vaccine as soon as the state makes that announcement. You got 100 doses this week? So the vaccine allocation for Nevada County this week was 100 doses. It's varied. We've had um, weeks when we had no doses available. Talk about a reality check. And it's going to take time before there's enough where it's as simple as how do I make my appointment? I don't gather in large groups. I don't see any friends. And, uh, you know, if, if I can get that two weeks sooner because of my condition, then I'd like to get it, you know, uh, just just on top of the fact that you know, I don't want to get this stuff. Vicki Gonzalez, KCO Ray 3 News. The state also announcing that it will be launching an online system next week to let people know if they're eligible to get a vaccine. People will be able to get emails or text when they are eligible. A toll-free number will also be created for people who don't have access to the Internet.